to encompass all of us, creating sacred space, setting it on top of the Vesica Pisces, asking for God's blessing, protecting everybody within, everybody on this call, everybody watching in the future of time. Yeah, it, is done, all, it is done, it is done. Breathe in the, let's just ground, this will also help you, so breathe in the golden light through all the chakras and exhale out into Gaia, yeah. anchoring into Gaia's heart. And then we're just gonna call up just a ton of love from Gaia. Just breathing up, clearing all the spaces, all the energy fields, all going out through your chakras, through your crown, going all the way up to source, clearing any density or any low vibrations in your field and in our sacred space. So we'll just create, throw a Metatron cube on us, start spinning it golden light and clear all density. And we'll, uh, we'll also add on some uh, barriers. Okay, we're finish. being watched. Yeah, well, this is this is also, this is something that, uh, let's just say it's important to do, but we're divinely protected. So we'll start calling in, we can call yeah, in. Yes, so let's shield. I was going to say, because of how bright our energy is right now, there are okay. many, many, uh, many watching. Mm -hmm. Pulling the dragons. Yes, but... Yes, I've called in the dragons. Calling King of the North. Oh, okay, that's good. So I've gotten the dragons to put a dome over us, so we're all shielded. And that's actually shining so bright, it's blinding the nefarious beings, and I feel clear. Yeah. Yeah? I don't know what the nine swords of the Elohim are, but they just drop them all around this for protection. <laughs> okay. They're different rays. They represent a ray. The nine rays. Okay. So there's tons of rainbow light around us. First, we're supposed to go up to source. So we'll connect our hearts and third eyes only to receive for highest good only, uh, to receive information, to receive energies from our oversoul groups and from the um, galaxies that have this universal collective of one consciousness. Um, they're at a higher self level. These ones are higher selves even of the galactics uh. okay so yeah they, they're in tune with everything here oh yeah they were sending in sh shockwaves through that emf to uh, disrupt this because and it's actually coming from the past of some it's interesting. Okay. All right, so let's go up to source. Connect with the sun, central sun. Into the sun portal. Connecting with the onk source all around the central sun. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, let's just merge with our higher selves and see what they or they want us to do here. So we'll access the Akash. So we'll call the Akashic Record Keeper, and we're going to ask them to bring us. The Universal Collective Akash is not the Akash on Earth. That's why the Collective of One is here. 
Okay. So we'll go to the Universal Akash mm. Records. And we're going to ask for the Akashic Record Keepers to bring us to lifetimes or all, which is anyone um, from the ancient times since Earth's first cycles where there was dark magic to pull on the light. Okay, wait, we're going to we're okay we're in Metatron's cube so don't worry we're not gonna we're gonna ask them to show us so we can view it and see what needs to be done bringing down the light um, asking for guidance asking for guidance and clarification and then he had wands I'm hearing find the rope. I don't know what that means. Find the rope. Is there like a golden lasso or something? Find the rope. Um, well, the golden lasso is going to be a, a protection weapon. So th these are dark wizards. Um, or <laughs> I just heard find. I just heard find the rope. So yeah. I don't know what that connotation is. They're so dark. Okay, wait. But they're light, they're love. Okay, hold on. What are we supposed to do? It's just, it's really just people playing in dark magic um, in in different dimensions and universes. It's just what's going on here. But they're, they're summoning demons. They're summoning demons from other dimensions. Bring them back. They don't belong on earth, okay. Um, so we're gonna clear clear out this timeline here I keep seeing this there's this lady here with this purple robe maybe that's what they meant maybe find the robe um, you know, she's really dark she's clearly advanced uh, she is just pulling stuff out of dimensions just spirits Okay, so anyways, oh. uh, have to forgive her on behalf of Earth. She was a dark druid. Okay. I'm gonna ask my elven self to bring that connection to you so you'll get better understanding asking uh, to uh, for it to be the intermediary. I'm just going to make it easy for this clearing here. I'm just going to uh, get the Akashic Record Keeper to bring in, in us being completely protected in this Metatron cube, and we're really observing it here. Um, we're about to create a big light bomb, essentially, to clear this. Before we do we're good so yeah let's make a big light bomb uh, we'll put our hands together and make this huge energy of light that is going to clear out this whole timeline like a nuclear explosion as soon as we send it it's going to explode into all these dark portals that this person opened up in her entire timeline every dimension every reality every the universe that she pulled entities and it was you she actually commanded legions of entities to do her dark work and they turned dark they turned dark she's yeah you see yeah okay um so we're creating this big ball of energy they're still telling me to add the elven aspect as king of the elves adding because of the druid connection so yeah. there is power to be found there well and she pulled elves out of dimensions and turned them dark too mm -hmm. um so that's probably why you're getting that too on top of it yeah and about i don't know six months ago we did a huge clearing for the elven kingdom and had to do some healing there yeah it looks like it's coming up again from this timeline 
All right, so before we open up um, our bomb of light here into this here, um, let's just do a countdown. <clears throat> and oh. we're just gonna open up just a little hole to shoot all this light through into this timeline. That's going to penetrate all her portals that she's open. It's going to cleanse the elves. It's going to cleanse, and it's going to bring back the the demons that she took out and the spirits that she took out of dimensions, and it's going to put them back into their dimensions. So we're going to create um, like um, an intention here with as we're clearing of this light, we're also going to send out smart light. That is going to attach to all of her portals and all the beans that she took out of the portals to clear them. It's going to clear them when they go back into the portal. Um, if they're just dark energy, they'll just go like magnetize right into the portal, and it'll and all the portals will close as soon as we're done. And this is going to happen all like really fast here. So let's go ahead, and count down from ten, nine, eight, seven, six. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one. Send the light through, <sighs> cleansing all the land, cleansing her, even cleansing her magic off the lands. Smart light going into all the portals, all the portals, bringing back all the beans. There's thousands and tens of thousands of beans she took out, bringing them all back, bringing them all back through to where they belong. Cleansing the elves, cleansing and the fae. She turn fade dark okay so she has okay anyway we're clearing the fade we're clearing them all send them all back home all going back on all portals are closing we're cleansing it all cleansing it all she's not power he has no holds no power over these beings it was against the universal law and we're returning it back to how it was before she did this clearing it and clearing it and clearing it her mom is coming through her mom is coming through what? What are you? What are you coming through for? What are you coming through for? You're showing me this. Okay. All right. Um, so we're also going to send in light as we're sending this light in, and these portals are starting to close, and the beans are all coming back. We're going to send this love energy over this this uh, dark witch, basically, and we're just going to cleanse and clear her. Um, and we're going to send uh, that all that density back up to source, cleansing and clearing her. So that she can, she can ascend, so she can ascend. She's chosen the ascension, okay? But in this timeline, she's alive right now. Um... She's suffering right now from this. Uh, we're clearing her. Rainbow flame. Oh, she has the dark lords okay, so over her. Shh. Bill, you might want to turn into a titan here for a sec. <sighs> Galactic mirrors are being used. The light language is coming through as it's raising my angels. Take them out of this universal structure. They don't belong here anymore. Transmuting. Allow the release. Send love again, send love again. 
The ancient shamans are adding their passion. Moving the hooks from they can oh, transmuting them. Okay, just transmute them. Okay. Turn them in turn 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 them into sand. Turn them into sand. Let them fade into the ground where Mother Gaia will lovingly transmute that energy back into love. Taking the negative and changing to love. It's repurifying all the energies. Well, the volcanic Metatron's cube, volcanic energy being used to cleanse. Transmuting all the sand particles into golden light. Transmuting all the harmonic frequency waves back into pure. Did you grab one of their weapons that they had? Who are you talking about? Oh, Phil. It looked, uh, I think he, he somehow he got like a like a wand or something, but it's got something inside of it. Let's transmute it. Oh, he took away their power. He took away their power. Okay, so he's going to transmute it. Inside of this wand, there's this dark ball within it, which is it's a dark crystal. Okay. Uh, so fuse it with love and return love. all the density back up. And send it to source. Send the crystal back to source. Give it love. Change it to white. When it's white, send it to source. He will change the energy of it to be reused. Not destroyed. Clearing, clearing, this is releasing, clearing, clearing, clearing. There's a ton of dark magic in that. It's clearing it all up to source. Starting to emit white light and shoot it up to, it's clearing itself now, but uh, that's good. Yes. Perfect. Good job, combined clearing. effort. Even every eon that we can't see is clearing everything that you can't even see as well. Sophia, <sighs> Sophia is adding her song as she interweaves the so healing into the interdimensional <sighs> aspect. That was good. Um, we we saved her. She wasn't going to ascend if we didn't do this. And, and, and neither were all these beings as uh, she turned dark. That's going to make a huge difference. Okay. All right, so we can unview this timeline now, the portals. So we'll just close all the all portals. Close. Has she ever created? Close all portals. Has she ever created? Closing them all. And there is one still open. Why is it still? It's, okay, we got to repair an energy. That's so weird. Let's repair it. There we go. Now it's close. That was Sophia holding it open to do her work. Okay. All right. Um, so we'll just... Um, Tune back into source energy. Well, it's all around it. 
Um, so we're seeking some guidance here. Uh, okay, so we're gonna call on the Akashic record, the Akashic records of all the times in Atlantis, um, or what needs to be cleared in Atlantis that was affecting all dimensions and universes specifically. And we're also gonna view it first to try to understand it. The dark ETs, of course, is the dark ETs. Stand back. Okay. Stand back. Push him out. Energy field. This is a timeline. We're viewing. We're not participating in it. We're viewing it. Okay. And they were the ones who sent the frequencies. So these are very advanced CTs. They can. They are. They know what we're about to do here. So we gotta. Um take another approach here quickly. Um, so we're not tuning into them here. And we're going to ask our guidance team to show us in a video that is completely protected, that, that is just maybe even actors. Um, so we get an idea of what they were doing. Um, We're getting a message to you, Sound Alchemy. Does anybody have um, singing bowls with them or crystal, crystal singing bowls? I don't. That's a good idea. Um, I, have, what I, can get. I have, I have it right here. It's not crystal, but it's my, it's called in quite a bit. Using sound to alchemize. Oh, would you look at that? Um, so what I'm seeing here is the uh, they were taking some of the leading wizards in Atlantis and the, the leading sages, ones who were so influential and they are basically abducting them so i think we're gonna have to do a release party here they may have trapped their consciousness that's crazy um and then they would beam themselves down looking like them and start at start teaching children of the dark not of the light essentially they were very driven by what? Driven by what? Greed and power for what? For this universe. These are the ones that we call the clones. Oh shit, these, these beans are powerful. Um, okay, so what do we do? David, after this, I, I need to do a clearing of the lances as well. I've been given a message, but you do this one first, and I'll tell you the other one. Okay. The whales and the dolphins are here to help. I'm calling in their energy now. All right, we're going to call also in the all the dragons on this adventure, the phoenix the phoenix energies um, and the eld dragons the griffins the ancients I know we got to free their consciousness off their ship that they had and it seems like it was just one ship that they had there's just, there's just a group of greedy ETs and they're still here on earth they've been evading the cycles
It's to set them free and clear the children. They did something to the children of Atlantis. They change They put chips in them. They, yeah, I was gonna say there's some kind of a crystal that's being used. So clear the chip, the cords that the, that they put in the children. Take the chips out of them. Clear, clear the children's energies from these ETs. We can remove all those implants. And then do gathering the, them all. Okay. Gathering them all. So here's I'm connecting all the children. If you're gathering them all, just connecting them yeah. all. Yeah. Gathering gathering them all, putting them into a glass jar, all of them. All the cords that follow with those chips coming all into that glass jar. Getting them as a collective. Pulling them all in. Alright, let's go after their ship. Go after their ship. Rainbow flames, Rainbow. rainbow diamond flames. Putting a lid on that jar. That glass jar now has a lid on it, and we're sending it up just like a tube of, like a bank tube, popping it right up to source. And he will destroy them. Beans are huge. Creating mirrors, creating mirrors around them. Diamond mirrors all around these ETs, so they can. Uh, track us after this shit and I'm actually just going to call in the source dragon to eat him Sharak toy kara ta chari o ta ta they're going to away so they're not going to interfere with us alright where are the consciousness where are they being held where are they Where? what do they do with them kiara edi kiara nara kiara ka awara ka it's in this thing inside of their ship, it's like uh, <sighs> open it, open it, open it, free them, free it. How do you open this thing? Magic. This thing, it's some kind of a computer within the ship. Um, Would a heart blast work? Just try it. Oh. Bubbles. Gonna We're going to use bubbles. ET Earth Alliance calling you in here to assist with this. Open this. Open it. Heart bubbles to move into the technology within the alarm. Look at the strings to open and release it. It's opening. It's opening. Okay. They're coming out. They're coming up. Come up. Come up and out. Back up to source. These are all the ancients. Oh, shit. They've been collecting them from the timelines. This hasn't just been going on since Atlantis. We're freeing up. I'm seeing ancient natives even here. They all once. Oh, shit. Hey. Hey. The ancestors are celebrating. They have another protection here. What is this? It's a glass. I'm celebrating and saying thank you. Beautiful. The next galactic meeting will have a lot more new men and old. Okay, good. Now we're good. Whoa, okay. Really old energy being released here. I ask for the dragons of the north to please cool down this energy so that it's not so hot in our physical beings as we transmute it. And I thank you for the gift of your air. Okay. 
ये कौन सनाये चनाये काये ना ये ते ये ना सनाये ये कौन है ये ना सनाये ये कौन है ना ये का I love this job. Go up, go up, go up, go up. Yes, got them, got them. Back into the course. Forty to L. Mamet is helping with the hearing. Got him. We got him. Okay, close. He's out. Coming up out of this device. Clean notes. Everybody's out. It's clear. Closing it up. Bearing through the dimensions. Okay. How lucky are we? Okay, we gotta get off the ship. Just get on to your dragons. Get off the ship here. Actually, just destroy the ship. Let's destroy the ship. And we're gonna forgive it. We're gonna give the blessing to the ship to forgive it, so the ship's consciousness can go up to source. You're forgiven. Sending love all around the ship. Love and forgiveness. Wrapping you in love and forgiveness. With the new pink glow, sending you the source now. And we got to forgive the ETs. This is how powerful we are. All right, forgive them. Forgive them. Forgive, forgive them. Love forgive them. The ETs. Remember, they are us. Forgive yourself, everyone. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. For I send myself love. They are released. So this this is done. All right. Well, I don't I don't even feel in danger anymore. So that's good. First, there those things are huge. Okay. They're taking the hand of the Divine Mother. She's taking them up, and they're saying goodbye to us, and they're thanking us. That is cool. Wow, that's different. They're funny looking things. They almost look like ET, like from the movie ET, but they're really tall. Sending divine feminine energy to all who just participated. Please listen with your hearts for a moment. And then as we're clearing off the children's um, attachments in the cores, it's just bringing them, dissolve them all in this timeline, dissolving it and clearing all their energies. There's like, uh, let's go through on all the timelines from all of this madness, all the way up to the current, clearing, 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 clearing. It's 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 up to current. It's up to current. This has been going on up to now. Okay. Thank you. Clear, clear, clear. Obviously, this is a lot of density to clear off both the planet, planet of the source, calling on all the titans, all the titans to come to assist, bring in the titan light, bring it Thank in. You Send it all up. Okay, good. Well, that's some that's some light for you. And we'll bring this Titan light down over all, clear all, all timelines, dimensions, and realities that were affected by this. Moving all chords, oh. and it's actually this caused issues with people um, neurologically, chemical imbalances and stuff. This is it one of the root causes of the genetic change it causes chemical imbalances. So this is going to heal a lot of people, not even realizing it. Um, there's uh, you're gonna be healing them. Okay. It's a universal healing light.
oh yeah, I know you don't like this. Go away. Get out of her energy. See you later, you voodoo maniac. Right. Shut up. That's where you belong. In that dimension. And this is your home dimension. Stay there. Alright. Okay, so that was one of those people that was, 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 was seeping in part of the seepage issue that was happening. Okay. Now you will not lose. Okay, so now that we're getting a little control of the universal energy, we're just going to bring everything up that this has affected clear in this timeline and all variations and timelines of the timelines and all realities. Clearing it all up to source, clearing the universe, closing the portals, pushing these beings back that uh, were attracted to this darkness. And then, so they brought darkness with them, yeah, so that all the darkness returning back actually clear it all has to ascend so we'll give them the codes of ascension bring the light of the garden of eden bring the light of the archangels light of the titans all over this universal structure clearing giving the codes of ascension to all dark entities that have been seeping into our clearing them and sending them love and forgiveness wasn't their fault they were attracted to other portals that people were opening up so on the way of sending them back to their dimensions we're going to send in tons of light and ascension codes um, clearing the other universes of this as well all timelines all realities Is the good work. It is the work of love. This work of masters. Okay, all oh, that was stolen to be returned back. All. Oh. <clears throat> Coming back, cleanse and clear, of course. Everybody's energy going back to them. Everybody's knowledge going back to them. Returning back all that was stolen. Thoughts, dreams, memories, consciousness, all has come back. This is the way it has to be for the ascension. All is forgiven. All this love, everybody. And those that don't want to be here and want to move into your universal structures, your new 3D dimensions, just go ahead and find those portals that are opening for you here. You'll be escorted out by the Elohim, the Archangels, and with compassion and love, we're going to thank you for your services. It's no longer needed here. All right, Phil, you're on deck. Am I on deck? Yes. This, this one I've wanted to do for 20 years, so it's a big one. Uh, a bit of an, a tiny bit of an history lesson. Uh, the Dark Ones conquered Mars, and Mars, the next planet they conquered, was where the meteor belt was, which was the Atlanteans' own planet. Uh, we destroyed our own planet to, and then we stargated to Egypt. Now, a billion lives were lost on that own planet. A billion beings were lost. There was trauma. Uh, souls were they're still probably lost now. The Dragon Warriors clan has said the Echo is still there now, hundreds of thousands of years ago. 
So what I'd like to do is create a portal, go to the timeline, go to it just after it's exploded and send Violet up flame with a 5,000 warrior dragon clan uh, and love. So everything gets healed in that timeline. Yeah, let's that, do it. Does that sound okay? So. Oh yeah, that's great. This is going to be a difficult one. So it, we, we create a portal using very high frequency. And let's hit the timeline. It's where a meteor belt is. It's hundreds of thousands of years ago. Uh, Hang on. That, yeah. Um, I'm hearing them say that we all need to do light language. So anybody who speaks light language, just yeah, bring it on. I, I agree with that. Oh, you start. Yeah. Start there because we need to kind of like uh, eliminate the residuals from what we just did, and then it's yeah. going to bring our vibration up to what we need to do for this work. Is what they're saying. Okay. So you you so see this, just, this just, uh, uh, light orange planet, Phil? I think this is it. Yeah, it, it's, it's it's exploding. What we did, we went in the crystal cave. We put all the crystals in the cave, and we blew the planet up. It gave us that, an hour. About twenty thousand went to Egypt. Yeah, twenty thousand went to Egypt. But the billion didn't, they, they actually died. But if we never did that, the dark ones would have had our technology and the universe yeah, would have been theirs. Hmm? I, was, I was there in that cave and I remember being at the cave wall with the crystal and yeah. I didn't understand what I was doing. So that's very informative for me. I just yeah. knew I was, it was like saving the planet, whatever it was, like we were but protecting. The, the six priestesses or priests put each color crystal in part of the cave and that create yep. the uh, explosion for the planet. All right, so let's do a total. Wow. I'm just going to challenge okay, light that. language. Yeah. All, all together? Yeah, let's just do it all once. Yeah. yeah, all together. And if you're signing yeah. light language, do that. I'm not a yiri. I am hearing you may begin. I am hearing you may begin. Listen, are are you hearing it? I am hearing you may begin. That was fun. All right. All right, Phil, you ready? Uh, high vibration makes me right. giggle, so. It's, it's, thousands <laughs> dra- it's thousands of warrior dragons right. here. Their, their flame will help us. So we've got to heal. We can't reverse it, but we can heal. So just sending violet flame, love energy. All the dragons are sending it. Like a white mic. Also, over. if there's any guilt, and as the collective, on behalf of the collective, we'll forgive yeah. ourselves and the collective for any guilt. Yeah, I, I need a lot of forgiveness there. <laughs> and probably Wendy as well. Yep, <laughs> me as well. Yeah. I, I watched the water coming in. I watched the cliffs falling. I watched them falling into the collapse of the planet as we were in the cave. There's a lot of screams going on. I'll just clear it all. Once again, forgive yourself, send yourself love. I forgive myself for the choices that I made, knowing or unknowingly, which affected so many lives. Forgive myself. I send myself love. Oh, Pono Pono. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Well, when, you, when you said sorry, then I said it in my head as well. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Reading my mind. No, no but I, just, I think it just needed it. Yeah. But mother gave me this golden feather to clear off. 
planet. I think that doesn't work. We're creating like a bubble of energy around the, the souls that we're, we're, and we're like trapping them in this love energy. Let's give each of them, each of them, their own love bubble from the larger love bubble, connecting it to their hearts, to their souls. Okay. You see them going out the source now. Mm. They're releasing that. Releasing the, yeah, the energies. <sighs> Give me the, the energies, shivers. Yeah. <sighs> We ask you forgiveness. We also got to forgive those ETs from that timeline too. That's exactly what I was doing. That. Mm -hmm. <laughs> forgive everyone. Can you feel the dense negativity of the trauma? So awful. I feel it in my. It was all in my head. I actually felt it in my head. Like a like an incredible headache that just wouldn't leave and then it cleared up and started cleaning up. Even in the arch, I can, can feel it. Well, I had the whole body shivers. <laughs> this is a billion what people, a uh, being said that idea. <laughs> We're still transmuting that energy. Just feel it briefly and then let it go. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Bringing in only cube lights to all of us. I think it, we need to cleanse because it's quite a trauma we, we we're taking. On. And it was part of our own soul's trauma too. Mm. I recently cleared that. Um, took about a week. <laughs> it took about a week last time to clear, which meant a lot of tiredness to recover from it. Can you feel the heaviness? Energy. Can you feel the heaviness on taking this? So early. For me, I think because I worked on it about a month ago, clearing a lot of that negative energy, it doesn't feel as heavy to me. I'm just feeling it move. Uh, they're trying to stop us from clearing. This is so ridiculous. Always one. There's always one. There's always one that always starts to fight. All right, Dave, let's do it. Blast what? now. Red dragon fire. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to sprinkle the uh, white sea of the goddesses of the underworld to put, create a portal channel and, and cleanse There's the There's a bubble. river. There's a river. That's what is it. this river? It's the uh, sea of the underworld. It's, I've created a portal. It's like a cleanser, like a blessing. I see them all gathering hand to hand, singing soft, beautiful music. I was hearing sing a song earlier. Maybe that's what it was referring to. Sing a song. Is there a group song we know? <laughs> Yeah, that's the bulk of the energy. That's true. <sighs> okay, so you're gonna do that. You're, oh, you're doing the. You are my sunshine, my 
warm and sunshine. <laughs> Make me happy. Stars are grey. When Dick, can you can you can you do this in light language? <laughs> yes, I can actually. Go on, singing. Anaria, <laughs> 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 so, the EMF went all over the place then. Hmm. It's been straight all the time and it just went all over the place. <laughs> and the planet, the planet itself is just so sad mm. <laughs> uh, because it got destroyed. It was it, so sad. And it was so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's source now. It's just pure source light. And like, you see you it. feel that? It's like effervescent bubbles in your body. Mm. I think, I think that's it, there, Phil. I think we did it. Mm. I thought before now, it, I thought it was too big for, for us. So that's why I've left that for quite a few years. Yeah. Well, we. It was a wise choice. It's, it's because we needed to come into the knowledge of our power as each of us were growing individually. Think about how much growth each of us have had just over this last year, specifically. That's exactly what I was thinking. You're reading me, man. Yeah. <laughs> My telepathic abilities are increasing, I'm telling you. <laughs> it is a known fact. <laughs> Proof right here. <laughs> I think we've got one more quick thing to do here on the yeah. Marriott. I don't know what it is, but... Um, Okay, so we can just tune back in the source light and the source of the cosmic sun. Uh, love you. Isis is coming in. Hold on. She is coming in to boost our energies, expanding all over our heads. She's this pure gold light it is a blessing. Thank you. Thank you, sister. I'm getting something about at the point where we separated that. I don't know if it's left, right hemisphere, um, polarity. She's returning That's gifts to us. You're right. But also it's... Balance. Such an amazing energy. Thank you for that. It's pearls. I wish you give us pearls. Uh, I guess we gotta hold on to them. It's like light pearls for this Lemurian thing. All right, so show, what do we gotta do in Lemuria? Energy. Um, 
it's the time in Lemuria when this this um, the Dark Queen, if you want to call her, she was back back then, and she totally destroyed someone who had the Isis energy in the most disgusting way. Um, so it's just sent a ton of love over this, over her, or clearing her and clearing her and returning the Isis energies back to source, clearing the Dark Queen of this. She's now the White Queen, and we're going to forgive her. We're going to forgive her because she's moved on to her next assignment, and we're also going to forgive her because... Forgiveness and love. We have to clear this for all. Oh, man, has she ever channeled darkness? She brought on the darkest of the dark onto her. So much love. Let's clear it all. Let's let and it all go. Bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Oh, <sighs> Using the magenta ray. And that dark princess Maybe. has been around for a long time. Well, she's not dark anymore, but... Anyway. Place the pearls into her hand. Into whose hand? To the dark queen's oh. hand. Oh. It's gonna bless her energy. Oh, she just ate him. Oh, she's clearing. Oh, shit. Clear her. Oh. Right, that's back to source. Uh, of course, it would have to be something just disgusting. All right. Sending love, sending love, 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 and the violet flame. Oh, the golden, the golden, the golden Christed energy is surrounding her. Yeah. The pearls inside her are like a broken vessel using like that gold. I don't know what that stuff is called. Like Japan uses it to repair their ceramics using gold. That's what this is doing for her. The pearls. Oh my God. They're showing me her now as like a sweet old lady. She just looks adorable now that she's cleaned off of the darkness. She was giving us the finger. She was giving us his finger. She was going, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're not romantic. Are you? All right. Thank you for that. Now we are actually <laughs> able to activate. <sighs> We're activating the obelisks. Hmm. And we actually needed you to do that. Thank you. Start at Stonehenge. This this uh, dissolves. Obelisk is is in, in that the this uh. It's Stonehenge. It's all around this obelisks all around Lemuria, and they're now being activated with golden light shining up through them. The start at Stonehenge. We just, just raise Earth's vibration. Yeah. yeah, the start at Stonehenge is uh, uh, it was a gathering point for our minds because we go there to work our magic, and so when we when I said that, that gave us the opportunity to reconnect again, and then the obelisks were able to activate in Lemuria, like you were just saying. I love that beautiful synchronicity. Yeah, no, yeah. I am one of the ones that activated uh, the the first obelisk in Lemuria. And we actually needed this to happen before we could do it. I was just giving some information. There's a lot of sacred crystals hidden underneath Earth, isn't there? Yes. Yeah, I'm just giving that. I don't know why I was just giving it. It's, it's, my, it's part of my ley line. And bring I, in the blue moon. There's a blue moon. They want to bring us this blue moon energy over. Oh, you got given that what I'm looking at you're one of us. <laughs> I've been seeing a blue, like after the gold, it was like there's a center of blue. I just, I just see sometimes light energy. I don't see, well, I don't always see images. Let's put it that way. They're coming to me more and more often, more clearly. It's challenging to clear the oceans, to clear the trees and the lands in this timeline and our timeline. It's in all timelines. 
realities. <gasps> Phil, Phil, I've been asked to ask you if you would like to open the doorway to where the crystals are. You have been told that because you're the ones to activate them. Okay. And that will blast all the energy. Right. That's the happening. light coming through that. There's lots okay. and lots of different crystals in there. And they've been kept there for safekeeping. I keep getting a yucky feeling on them. Can we check to make sure they need to be cleared? Are they clear? I'm getting clearing of the space, but not the crystals. The crystals are pure and protected. Are you guys like in a temple right now all of a sudden? Like with big columns, pillars? Are you in an open air temple or inside? I think it's like inside. Uh, I'm yeah. inside underground in here, watching in Phil do his magic. Hello. Uh, hey, Wendy, do you got a drum? I do. Is you need a drum? Yeah, yeah, if you could beat a drum, this is a ceremony. Yes, one moment. And how curious that it's a water drum. <laughs> yes. Calling in sacred space. Calling the elements. North, south, the east, the west. Thanking the grandfathers and the grandmothers, our ancestors before us. Bringing in Father, Son, Mother, Sky. Can you see them lighting up? All the yeah. crystals activating, starting from the outermost circle. Yeah. And then filtering in right to the middle. Wow, that's fast. <sighs> Keep drumming, Wendy. Rachi It's like it's like soul beings inside this piece. The energy of these. Wow. Um, I'm getting an image of a boat, like a. Uh, not quite like a narrow, like a Hawaiian boat with those side runners, but a narrow boat, long. I don't know what that represents. What does that represent? Hmm. Those that died at sea. Well, that's an easy answer.
Oh, that was a big clearing. Just in case this might benefit you guys here, they've just been bringing me through this crazy stuff of, of forgiving these rituals of the Mayans and these timelines. Um, and they're actually showing me that they would offer their children uh, and some, these ETs would actually take them up um, who they were working with. And this is how it began, almost like the offerings of the young ones. But they did eventually turn it into a darker w way of doing it where they actually offered it to, and they killed them. Like but that was the, the beginning part so it's they offered it because these ETs were taken. So it was, it was important to forgive the ETs and then forgive, obviously, all these mans. And then they just started bringing me into all these timelines of cannibals and this brutality of eating people and just releasing that and cleansing that in all dimensions and realities, forgiving yeah. self and forgiving the collective and forgiving all, and just going to all these dimensions, yeah. clearing. There's the bringing um trying to get over us right now and it is a rainbow um, but it, it's an elder it's um, an indigenous elder like a shaman he's waving his feather and this feather has got this green blue orange red white you, cosmic white cosmic light is it an interesting one it's got little bubbles little golden bubbles in it and then it's just putting all these frequencies above cleansing all the energies all over us Oh, this sucks. <laughs> We give blessings to the Most High, to the one God, the one creator of all. It is with our gathered hearts that our energies may now come to you in this manner, asking your forgiveness, bringing you our love. another round of cleansing our energies here because we had we had to release a lot for the whole universe here so just using the sacred golden flowers just over everybody they're like sticky flowers picking up any density over all of our auric fields over all of our chakras energy systems any little particles that you can't even see just putting them all and collecting them all from all these clearings and then we're going to give them to divine mother 
in a second here. Uh, that feels so much better. Here you go. Arapa i ana i chi a ko o tu o tu ko o a. Then just uh, again breathe in some golden light above your crown. Exhale it out. Really cleansing. Bringing the frequency, the tablet of God over us as well for extra cleansing over our houses. Arapa o eriti. Okay. Okay. I'm just using the uh, yeah, we, we've been going they take us through this timeline and the druids and then this timeline in Atlant two timelines in Atlantis one where the, the planet was destroyed to clear that and this time in Lemuria we've been we cleared a lot I think we're almost wrapped up here um, we're at this part now where we're, where we're they're just, we're just cleansing all of our energies and cleansing it off because we had to basically clear and clear and clear and clear and clear. Dave, I've got some information about the uh, crystals that we opened up and started. They were, they were planted for this time. Uh, the, the energies are, it's like a grid. It's like a humanity grid. And they were alive. So it, it's just to take the fear out of out of what's happening at this precise moment very very strange that is cool uh but we, we had a live source beings in there and the, the shield we opened the shield and that started the thing so it's like a new grid i can't believe what all happened here About i just can't believe it four, four different events <laughs> oh that was insane it, it's interesting because the last couple of days I've actually had like more of my fractals coming back that I've been working with too. So I had one like a month ago with the Lemurian clearing and the crystals and the cave and watching the planet fall apart and the water. Um, and the discretion, I mean, literally it was like, it's like you could see a car like on a cliff and all of a sudden the cliff would fall away and the car would just land in the water. I don't know. It, I feel like they were giving me more images versus what it really was but something that I could relate to as to like what was happening but I couldn't understand it and so I kept like kind of like trying to go back to it trying to go back to it to pull up like what am I clearing in the Myria and what did I do I knew I did something with that crystal and I knew like it's almost like I felt like whatever I was doing like it was bad like it was a bad thing and I couldn't understand it and I was literally putting it in the wall and I remember seeing it but um but the last like last week i like was calling all my fractals back to like get my clearing like to bring more of my power in and then to like release some of the old fractals that needed to go and i was like oh my god so wiped out for like a whole week like, the whole week was like processing it i was sick <laughs> i was sick one day like purging right like just releasing toxins it was like not good but um but when this when they i've i've found out for quite a few years we, we destroyed atlantis and it was a secret and i thought ah oh, how, can, how can you clear that it's uh. <laughs> did you know it was me in there did you know it was me i knew it was six priestesses and each one was a different color archangel it, michael was one of them he was in he was like his his energy was in there and i only say that because we, in we, my dream we, we were dressed in the color of the of the, we were actually dressed in that color when we went in it was like a, a priest color with an order over it and yeah i don't know what color were you i i don't know i could only see the other people but i could See, now I'm, I don't know. I remember seeing my hands. I don't remember like anything on my hands. Like it reached out past the robe and I could see my hands doing whatever I was doing, like in the wall, like putting, putting it in the wall. I thought it was taking something out of the wall. Apparently I was putting something into the wall. 
when, when we put when we put them in, we ran because we had to get in the Stargate. We had thirty minutes to clear as many oh. people to clear as many people out of that thirty minutes. So. So then we were pushing people through. Yeah, but what what happened? See, was, that makes that makes sense to me because I feel like I feel like there were these black inner tubes. Now again, it could be just giving me like that I was rescuing people. It just could be like my like my ego mind trying to give me images that I would recognize from what I did. So I got it piece parts. So as the planet was being destroyed and all this water was coming through, there were people that were like floating down through the water. And I had these like black inner tubes. That they were skinny, like like little. I don't know. They were skinny. They weren't like a regular inner tube. They were just like a thin piece of like a tubing. Um, but it was enough to hold their whole body weight. And so it was like I was just throwing them out to people. To so maybe that was like my whole like my mind's way of saying you were rescuing people. You were trying to get as many people out as you could. So I guess. I guess. Hindsight, 2020. You know. Yeah. Do you know how we infiltrated those? We employed beings that were working for the dark ones. <laughs> so we, we, we used to have a we used to have a protection shield over the planet, but they were inside, so they 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 cleared the shield, and we had to blow up the planet. Right? Yeah, horrible. Oh wow! What a rough choice. <laughs> well, we. we Atlantis got about six or seven planets, but that's the nearest one to Earth. And when we got the gold, we we only could get some of the crystal gold that we put on the pyramids to send signals, but we couldn't get to our own planet. That's oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. But <laughs> you said the crystal gold on top of the pyramids. One of my early, um, one of my early recommend rec recollections to like a visual image was a pyramid, and it had a gold cap. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Why am I seeing this with a gold cap?" And then I could see like these laurel, laurel leaves, like 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 floating around this pyramid. And I just it just did not make sense to me, like what I was trying to tell myself. But that pyramid with that gold top, like just the cap of it was top in gold. I, I just was like, I don't know why the pyramid got a gold cap. <laughs> Uh, we, we we still couldn't contact them. <laughs> we tried, <laughs> and then and then the dark and then the dark ones came to earth, and uh, we lost. Took away the gold caps. Yeah. <laughs> took away us. <laughs> yeah, took away us too. Yeah. <laughs> and yet here we are again. <laughs> They just can't keep us down. <laughs> But when I when I got offered to go to earth to try and change, I snapped it because I've still got the memory. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So. so, Phil, you saw yeah. me the other day from your third eye. So yeah. I give you a bit of a shock, did I? You were about a hundred foot high. Yeah, you. The, the other person that was click, click, uh, connected was hundred foot high, massive. Yeah, it's yeah, quite well, quite weird. Yeah. That's the dragon. Mm. So the other, my twin. Yeah. And I haven't seen him from the outside, so I was a bit unsure at first. What were you talking about? But then uh, my other, Vinolin, he says that's your dragon. But yeah, it was. Um, I'm going through a lot of change, and it's a bit overwhelming. But at the same time, I'm dealing with it. So, like anybody who watches the replays, I'm going to be 100% clear. So yeah, wonderful. Wonderful. So you're putting it online after it's finished? Um, yeah, yeah. This one is uh, this is one that everybody sh can participate in and have an amazing experience. Is this part of your Dragon Week? Is this or something? No, no. This is just something that we we were just trying to stop all the seepage that was coming in. <clears throat> it was from um, the ancient ancient timelines that haven't been cleared because we haven't been advanced enough to clear them, basically. Yeah, so now, we certainly are more advanced enough now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Amazing is what it was. This, this is beyond words. It's, there's nothing that can really describe it other than it was it's incredible. It's not just channeling some grounding. I, I'm just doing the A level. Wow. Well.
I can extend my energy so fast and so large now. It's amazing. Beautiful. Send it my way. I accept. Take it. There's as much as you need. Take it. Tara makura na na shila ho. Nini makara na na ho. Ishi na na ma. Ikara mara ho. Well, my dragons are smiling. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to go for a walk, guys, because that's a lot of energy that we were in. Yeah. Like, and we've opened up, like... <sighs> I don't even know what's going to happen after this one, but uh, I would imagine that there's going to be a huge human spike within 24 hours. Let's uh, keep our eyes on it, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it'll, be, it'll be interesting how the world takes that. When the yeah. crystals open, they're, they're open all the time now, so... Uh, when I check into the full moon, all I get is celebration, so I feel like it's part of it. Thank you. I'm going to yeah. be blessed to be part of this with all of you. Yeah, thank you guys. You yes. guys are like heroes, man. I swear. Just kind of like light and um, light and happy, actually, is how I feel. A lot yeah. of people's eyes being opened up as soon as the crystals all lit up. It's, mm. you know, the ones that are awake or waking up, they're just, uh, they're they're, like, their oh. eyes are, are bright. They're, they're, their eyes are really open now. It's brilliant. <laughs> I've been finding like things that we've been that we're doing to assist in the ascension are getting a lot of a lot of attention right now and like the uh, the last four days specifically every time I go to sleep there is this most amazing rainbow energy that's just sitting in front of me and mm. and, I, and I know part of it is this rainbow dragon and part of it is just pure source rainbow energy and it's like diamond and it's sparkly and it glows and it's like this big, I can see it with my two eyes and it has all these other diamonds and stuff. Oh, and, wow. And it's always constantly just reassuring how much good work that we're doing. And I think I like, that I everybody like is gonna get some really amazing connections in the week ahead from this work that we did tonight because this work that we did tonight was at a whole other other level of of it was at a whole other level period i um i channeled i just channeled that diamond that you're talking about hang on i'm gonna grab it beautiful oh cool wow amazing wendy that was on the fourth wow i've stopped scribbling i should scribble again you yeah you need to and then they give yes. me this very bizarre I think this was the last thing I did. I did this on the 11th. This was just like love, 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 broadcast love was the main message. And then they had me look up love in different languages and I started like writing them wherever I fit them. But the main thing started out with the broadcast up here with the broadcast. And then it went into the heart and then they had me doing heart bubbles. And then there were like lines out to the heart. And then, oh wait, even before I started that, this like this spiral I don't know if you can see the spiral in here with like a straight line that's where it started and then it went into the broadcast so so I just I just pull in the energy and then it just like develops into whatever it is gonna be so, you know, and Ty, I'm always surprised Ty's like I think he's like tuning into the collective and, and helping them connect somehow he's like helping them to connect to uh, their higher selves and stuff like that are you are you working on collective stuff right now because <laughs> like we just open up so yeah, much okay. and, he's, and, and he's helping connect the uh all the all the strands of light to like all these people who are awakening on the planet because of this right now it's the coolest thing he's just going into this this is a fun one you should like right. this the illusion of time <clears throat> The illusion of time. <laughs> David, you know when you saw that sword by the Dark Queen? It wasn't a sword, it was a staff. 
with two yeah. sword blades, yeah? Then something connected to a dark crystal in the middle. Yeah, that's how I saw it too. Is that how you saw it? Yeah, like a staff and then this big bubble thing and then inside of it was like this big like round scepter thing or whatever and then inside of it, but it was, it wasn't, it was kind of see-through and you could see the dark crystal in there. And I, I, I was thinking, I wouldn't want to get shot by that. <laughs> yeah, I know. All of a sudden, it started to do something. like, Ugh! <laughs> stay away from it. Uh, that's why I went for it straight away. Rather get it than get shot by it. Yeah. I, sh- I should, I should, I should have brought it back. <laughs> oh, David would know if you have it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's safe now, that's for sure. Here's a here's the Earth Dragon. I don't know if I ever showed it, but that's Victor. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. I was just, that was one of my... that's, that dragon's green, isn't it? It is green. It is all green. Earth Dragons, just a little bit of info. Yeah, all Earth Dragons are related to Merlin's original dragon. They're wow. All the... Look at that. Uh, it was, I um, learned that a little while ago, and every time I've introduced someone to an Earth Dragon, they've made the comment that, yes, I am one of uh, Merlin's Dragon's ancestors. I had an aspect, um, Friedrich is his name. I was a red dragon, and uh, my main dragon who works with me is Quanon, and um, and Friedrich was the the ward to Quanon, so (laughs) Quanon always looked up to Friedrich. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and and my husband is the uh, his higher self is quite on. <laughs> well, Wendy, I found out I've got an aspect of a warrior dragon. So a, wa- oh, you a warrior a warrior dragon clan. So I can go on that planet now if you want. So. All right, I love that. All I know is I was a fire dragon. So whatever that means, there's I mean oh. there's so much that they're just like not giving me yet. So oh. whatever it is. My my, 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 gu- my guardian is connected to my aspect from the same clan. Quite weird, that. <laughs> oh wow, that yeah. is. Oh, I just I also just found out um, Archangel Uriel is my guardian angel. <laughs> oh, <cool. laughs> I was like, what am I drawing? Like sometimes I'm just like, what am I drawing? What does this represent? What does this mean? But. Wendy, your neck get... is really standing out right now. Oh, is it thank diamonds? you. No, it's just sterling silver. It's mm, just sparkly. Beautiful. Here's another dragon I had. No. He just showed up. He just showed up. So I see us as major node points on the morphic field. Here it is, mother, yeah, mother I mean, spider. Uh, no, it's mother, probably more mother spider weaves. because of, we're basically computers. But you know what's interesting is, I mean, this doesn't look like a spider web or anything like that, but it says the galaxies are infinite and then mother spider weaves. If you can read that. Mother spider, spider weaves. weaves, yes. Galaxies are infinite. And then when was this? That was in May, May 9th. Hmm. Oh, Atlantean. Oh, look at that. Atlantean. Thank you. 